and uh, welcome everybody. Uh, we've had a pretty uh, smooth day today in kind of launching uh, all the new pr the, the brands, the products, the new family of products. Um, but of course, we, we will have logistical issues getting people from the bar, <laughs> from the bar out into the room. So please step out here. There's plenty of room to sit. Uh, bring your cocktail. Anyways, uh, very, very excited to see everybody. Thank you so much for coming and, and sharing this day uh, uh, with us. Um, I want to take you back um, a few years um, and talk about uh, the very, very early days of Sendesk uh, with these three um, slim guys uh, <laughs> starting Sendesk originally out of uh, Copenhagen. Um, and um, it's almost, what is it? Eight, nine, nine years ago now. Uh, we have a 10 year anniversary next year. Um, we, we built send us because we had a lot of it, we had some experience with the then generation of customer service systems. And, and this was very much the world we lived in back then. Terrible, terrible systems that made basically everybody unhappy and of course, you know, provided terrible customer service. Um, it was very much software that was optimized for the institution. It was very much optimized for the organization so they could manage their metrics, they could monitor the metrics, manage the people, and manage all these goddamn customers. Um, that, that whole world was very foreign to us. We, we were from a very different generation where we thought very differently about customer relationships. And we started out building centers with a very easy, with a very basic concept of just Let's just build a system where we start with the customer experience. Let's, let's not build a system for the organization. Let's build, a, let's build a, a software system for the customer, where we optimize it for the customer experience, where we, where we make organizations super responsive to their customers so they feel that, that the organizations care, where we empower them to help themselves, and where we provide transparency. Some of these basic concepts that we all know are so important for a relationship. Um, and, and it turned out great. We had a nice little system, <laughs> and, we, and we had the Buddha. <laughs> and the Buddha was such a happy fella uh, with, the, with the headset and everything, and everybody who used Sendesk became very happy fellas too. Um, <laughs> so in many ways, a very great, very, um, very simple story. Sendesk today looks different. It looks, it's, a, it's a much more advanced system. We can do a lot more stuff. We can help customers reach, we can help organizations reach out to customers in all these channels. Uh, talk to them, engage with them, uh, customer satisfaction, all these like NPS, all these different things are now part of the product. We have all these predictive capabilities. And Sendesk has really become a very different system today than it was uh, back then. But on that journey, I think the biggest change for us is what we've learned from our customers. We have Today, over 80,000 businesses around the world using Sendesk. Small companies, very large companies, fast-growing companies, companies all over the world. And I think that we've had the, we've had the privilege of, of working with some of these really cool new generation companies that think very, very differently about customer service, that doesn't think about customer service as this is just a department over there. This is, this is this place you have to go to get customer service. They think very much about customer service and, customer, and the customer experience as part of the fabric of their business. They think very much about it as something that drives their business, that is part of their business plan, that is part of how they think about uh, their business, their customers, and their growth. Um, one, of, one of these things that we've seen everywhere now, it's ubiquitous, it's, it's in every app, it's in every service we use, it's the thing that you can rate your experiences. Um, and it's, it's such a small thing, we're now getting real used to it. So for every ride we have, for every food delivery we get, for every uh, uh, job we have done, like we can rate the service. And I think that, that happened not because not only because these companies wanted to collect more data and get more experience about how to build better businesses and better services, it came around because they really cared for the individual customer experience. Because they knew that if there was a customer that wasn't happy about the transaction, if they showed an indicator that this was only a two-star experience, they knew that that customer was at risk of leaving them. 
they knew that that customer would probably not use their service the next time. And for these businesses, it's all about retaining the customer. It's all about loyalty. So retaining the customer is so incredibly important. But furthermore than that, it's not just about retaining your customers. It's about making your customers into your promoters, into your evangelists. And if you've had a bad experience, you're simply not going to go out and recommend that product or service to anyone else. So for these, this is a very good example of, uh, of how these new generation of companies are thinking very differently about customer service. That it's not just, it's customer service is not just customer service. It, they think about what they do to retain their customers, to grow their customers, to, um, to acquire new customers. They think about that as one part, one, uh, one connected part. So sales, marketing, and uh, service for a lot of these companies are slowly merging. The problem is that, and I think we in the business software industry, we carry a lot of the responsibility for that, is that today we build software for the different departments. We build software for the customer service department, we build software for the marketing department, we build software for the sales department, and in many ways we're still selling software to the departments to the department heads, to the CIOs and, the, and the, the leaders of these organizations, instead of trying to sell to the customer, to the end customer, and build software ultimately for the end customer. So we, we end up selling software to businesses today that provides them with a disconnected experience between sales, support, service, and marketing. And this is basically what we have set out to change. It's really hard. But here at Sendesk, we believe that in many ways, the same way we build consumer software, we have to build business software starting with the customer experience and not optimize the, experience, not optimize the product for these different departments. Um, today, we're going to talk about Sendesk's new brand identity that we've been working on for a long time that really tells the story of um, what is the next chapter of Sendesk? What are all these new products? And what do we try to do for businesses around the world? Um, we're also going to talk about our new unified product family. And finally, we're going to deep dive on two of our products um, that we think can help uh, businesses in a whole new way. Before we go to that, I have a short movie just introducing the new product family. Every interaction has the potential to create a relationship. These interactions can be exciting, or they can be disappointing. Sometimes they rock, and sometimes they're just rocky. Relationships are complicated. That means we need help navigating them. That's what Zendesk is for, improving the relationship between businesses and their customers. Our tools help businesses to be more reliable, more flexible, listen to their customers, and maybe send emojis. We help businesses make sense of massive amounts of data and even know their customers' hopes and dreams. Kind of like Santa Claus, but real. Reintroducing Zendesk. It looks like this now.